presents a presentation of Anime Championship Wrestling, a standard of CAW. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 ACW Elite Tournament Cruiserweight Clash here in Sacramento. Coming up next, our seventh match in the first round as Ryoma Edgerton, the Prince of Tennis, will go one on one against one of the Digi Destined, Takuya Kambara. We will find out who will be the seventh person advancing to the second round. Let's get started. This match entails here to two elite athletes as the bell rings and the match is underway. The winner of this match will go on to face Gone in the second round of the elite tournament. Ryoma lays it in thick. Takoya answers back and here we go. We're off to the races, folks. Ryoma and Takoya just responding back with elbows. Takoya looks to get the upper hand against Ryoma, the prince of tennis. Takoya whipping Ryoma to the upside. Nice corner drop kick. Sends Ryoma down to a knee. Gets back up here. And flows over with a nice Frankensteiner sitting down. Ryoma. Takoya has been given opportunity after opportunity to make something worth of his ACW career. And he's not been able to close the deal. Can tonight be the night where he's one step closer to realizing a potential shot at becoming a cruiserweight champion? Right foot shot there by Takoya. Oh! Standing shooting star by Takoya. Cover on Tarioma. And a kick out at one. As we take a look at the offense so far in this match, Big Knife and Chop followed up with a standing shooting star on Tarioma. Went for the cover, but was only able to get one. A little bit of a surprise maneuver there as Ryoma's drive B is a full of a shooting star press. Not sure if Takoya was aware of that or just did it on the fly, but it was effective. Takoya continues the offense against Ryoma. Look at this. Big back suplex. Sending Ryoma down, folding him like an accordion against the mat. Cover, shoulders are down. There's two, and Ryoma barely getting his shoulder up before three. Ryoma edges in. He's a part of the ACW, quote unquote, golden era. Back in the early years of ACW, he became the first ever cruiserweight champion. As Koi missed the drop, he onto Ryoma there. Snap grab by Ryoma. Drives the knee to the back. Just like that, real match take control. That is what a veteran does compared to someone like Takoya. Cover like by real match. There's two. And Takoya with a kick gap before three. I don't think Ryoma's 
done here. Oh, well, there's an eye rake. Tim Bull, the Prince of Tennis. Drop kick there by Real Oh! Rolling kick to the face. Cover. One. Two. And that still wasn't enough. Real Madison, he would love nothing more than to go at it with his former arch rival, Aaron Yeager, for the Cruiserweight Championship. And this would be one way to do it as he drives the knee once he gets to the back. Let's take a look at Ryoma so far in this offense. First of all, boom, cut out of nowhere, dropping Takoya on his neck. As you're back alive here, Ryoma yarking. Excuse me, scraping that eye off of Takoya, even though Takoya's wearing goggles. I don't know how that works, but I know that didn't work. Super kick knocking Takoya all the way to the apron outside. Now, Ryoma, what is this? Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Drops him with the back suplex on the hardest part of the ring, the apron. And Takoya's back has to be hurting. It has to be in some form of severe pain. Ryoma from the top. Oh, leg lariat. That hurt Ryoma in the process. But it may have been enough to put away Takoya. There's two. And a shoulder up, but barely. You can tell Takoya's back has to be hurting in some form or fashion. Take a look at this devastating back suplex on the apron. Oh, you can just hear it echo. And then the leg Larry from the top rope knocking Takoya down. Ryoma taking some of the flag as well, but Ryoma is in full control. They're back live, dropping the elbow. Pillar of Segaku. Showing that although he may be an arrogant son of a son of a, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best. Takoya gets back up there with a nice run of Corona. Takoya going to withstand the pain to persevere through this match. The top turnbuckle here is waiting for something. As Rimbo's going to be back to his feet here. Oh, and a spear wheel kick. Takes down the Prince of Tennis. Rolls out of the way. Something tells me uh, Takuya's not done yet. Oh my god! He just wiped Rio out! With that tope poncha! Take a look at this again! Taking flight with assistance from the middle rope! Wiping Rio out! Side of the ring! What an outstanding matchup you're witnessing between two elite cruiserweights here at the Cruiserweight Clash. Takoya wants that opportunity to become Cruiserweight Champion. Ryoma wants to become a two-time Cruiserweight Champion. Which resolve is bigger between Takoya and Ryoma? Takoya and Ryoma back in the ring here. Big elbow sends Ryoma back to the ropes. So the side here and the ref went down. Takoya missed the kick. Drop kick by Ryoma. The referee was collateral damage there. He's gonna be out the way, damn it. Just kick by Takoya onto Ryoma. On the top rope, Takoya going flying. Cross body. Connects. There's a cover. There's two. Takoya's advanced. No, he's not. And Takoya's a little bit perplexed by Ryoma kicking out. Ryoma back to his feet here. Takoya corkscrew kick. And Ryoma goes back down against the mat. Crowd in Sacramento clearly behind Takoya. They want to see this man finally get his chance for tonight. But Ryoma is the one to stop him. And Ryoma dragging screws Takoya down to the mat. Now what the hell is Ryoma looking to go for here? Is he going to, is he going to nail it here? Oh, I thought he was going to go for the drive B, but nobody home. As Sequoia now going to take advantage. Multiple clotheslines. Missed that clothesline there. Nice sleeping clothesline by the Dizzy Destin. Crowd is at a fever pitch here. It is up to Sequoia to capitalize. The question being, as so the case has it been throughout his entire career, can he capitalize and close it out? From the top, no 450! Go for the cover! Takoya shoulders down! He's got him too! Oh, Ariyama's 
Kohler up before three. A lot of fight left in Ryoma once again as we take a look at the replay. Deploy with a devastating 450 from the top, hit to perfection. It took him a little bit to get to the cover, but he did. Maybe that was enough for Ryoma to recover and get his shoulder up before three. Nonetheless, there is still work to be done for Takoya if he wants to advance to the second round. Another corkscrew kick, and down goes Riola. Riola so far has not had an answer for Takoya's offense in these last few seconds. Big double there by Takoya. Kick to the midsection. Did you just a kick? Oh, Ryoma reversed it. He countered it. He scouted it out. That was a beautiful counter by Ryoma. I gotta be honest. And now he's going up top. He may take advantage of it. Can it be what I'm thinking it's gonna be? Oh yes, it is. Drive me. One, two, three. No. Shoulder up by Takoya, and Ryoma cannot believe it. I thought for sure that drive B was it. Wow. What a match between Ryoma and Takoya. Two men with different goals proving who truly is the best of the best. Who is the among the top elites, if you will. As wow, Ryoma went for a kick there, nobody home. Takoya with an elbow there. On to Ryoma. And look at, oh! Olympic slam! Ryoma's foot caught the ropes for a break. Takoya using that to his advantage. It's just going back and forth between these two. Who can withstand it the most? Big knife edge chop by Takoya here. Punches him outside of the corner here from the middle rope. Cole lines it back down. Crowd in Sacramento. Supporting Takoya because they want to see this man finally captivate himself to the top of the ladder in the cruiserweight division. Takoya up top. He's going to go for something here. 450, no, that time. That time Ryoma countered it with his knees onto the abdomen. But Takoya going to persevere through it. Get to the midsection. Takoya not waste any time here. Deji just to get. He got it. He got it! Come on, get the shoulder up! There's one! There's two! There's the... Oh, damn it! Damn it! We have a kick down again! Oh my goodness! Well, let's take a look at this here. Ryoma nailing the drive beat perfectly onto Takoya. I thought that was it. I thought Takoya was done. But Takoya still had some fight left in him. But then I thought Takoya had it here. As you'll see here, the digit does the kick. Hit it perfectly. I thought Ryo was done. There was no way he was able to kick out. And then Ryo proves me wrong by kicking out before three. And that hand was close to hitting three on the mat. Oh, God, we are back live, folks. What else do these two have to offer? What can Takoya do to put away Ryoma? What can Ryoma do to put away Takoya? Takoya has Ryoma set on top here. Looks like he's going to go for a Frankensteiner. And the Frankenstein. Oh! Takoya hit the knee on the mat hard! He might have injured his knee! Ryoma going for it! He's going to do it again! Drive B! On the knee! On the injured knee! Holy crap! Ryoma! Taking advantage of Takoya's mistake, there's three. Ryoma has advanced. Unfortunate situation for Takoya. Once again, take a look at this. Freeze starter attempt. Lands his knee right onto the mat. Very hard. He might have damn well had an ACL tear. And Ryoma taking advantage. Hitting a drive specifically on that injured knee. 
once again to Quinn, not able to capitalize when he needed to. But veteran Riyama able to sliver away. 